Hello everyone, welcome to the SharePoint Online tutorial. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will learn about SharePoint Online list and SharePoint Online list properties web parts. And these are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. First we will see SharePoint Online list web part and then we will learn about the SharePoint Online list properties web part and how we can configure the list web part and the list properties web part to our modern SharePoint site page. And finally, we will learn about how we can format the list web part in the modern SharePoint site page. What is list web part? The list web part connects the SharePoint online list items, which means when we add the list web part to our modern SharePoint site page, it displays the list items that are presented in the site contents. And what is list properties web part? It displays the data dynamically that are presented in the list items. When we select any data from the list web part, the selected list item displays in the list web properties web part. And it is not possible to display the event list or task list in the list web part. We can only display the custom list that we are created in the site contents will be displayed in the list web part. And user can also view, filter and sort the list that are presented in the modern SharePoint site page. Now I will show you how to create the list and add the list to the list web part. Initially, log in to the Microsoft Office Home and open the SharePoint application and select the site page where you want to add the list item. In this example, I have selected the communication site page. You can see here the new option is presented. Expand this option and click on the list and select the blank list option and give the name of the list. In this example, I am going to give as test list and click on the create button now you can see the test list has been created in the site page this is how the list page looks like if you want to add any item in this list we can give random title name and click on the save button the list item will be created now select the home option to add the list web part in the modern sharepoint site page once the site page has been opened click on the edit icon and choose the section layout. Here I am going to choose on column layout and select the plus icon and search for the list web part. Here you can see the list web part has been added and the created list has been displayed in the list web part. When you click the test list that we created, you can see it redirects to the selected list web part, which means it re redirects to the selected list page. This is how we can add the list web part in the modern SharePoint site page. Now we will see how we can edit the list web part. Click on the edit web part icon over here. You can see the list web part properties pan presented here. This is the list source. If we want to change the list source, we can select the list that we want to change and click on the apply icon. You can see the list has been updated in the list web part. And this is the size that are presented here, auto size, small, medium and large which means it displays about 5 items and the small one displays about 5 items and the medium one about 15 items and the large one is about 30 items. By default it will be in the auto size option. Here if you want to show the command bar we can enable it which means by default the command bar and see all options will be enabled. If you want to hide it we can enable the toggle control and click on the apply options. You can see those two options presented in the list web part is hidden now. If we, want, if we disable this toggle control then we can see once the apply button is clicked we can see the command bar and the see all option is presented here in the list web part. And if you want to filter dynamically we can enable it and we can filter the list items. I will show you how to filter it dynamically. This is how we can edit the list web part in the modern SharePoint site page. Now click on the republish icon so that the changes will be reflected in the modern SharePoint site page. Now I will show you how we can filter the data dynamically. Click on the edit icon, select this section layout. Here I am going to choose two column section and here choose the list web part and here document library web part. Here you can see the training courses is list is presented and in the document library courses library is presented click on the training courses library and the training courses list and the courses library now 
edit the course web part which means edit the document library web part and select the sources courses and enable the dynamic filtering option over here and choose column in the courses which is training courses and the list is training courses and here choose the title and click on the apply option over here now when you select this training courses here i will choose the power platforms training here it will display the power apps and the power bi doc here you can see the training courses are showing as a power platforms training in the same way when i select python here you can see the python document has been displayed which shows the training courses python training in the same way when i select sharepoint training from the list it displays the sharepoint document dynamically from the document library and the training courses column displays the selected options when i disable these two you can see only the selected list item displays the selected document this is how we can dynamically filter and display the document based on the selected list in the list web part this is how dynamic filtering works in the list web part now we will see how we can format the list properties web part select the list properties web part section click on the edit section option over here you can see the layout options that are presented here one column two column three column this is you can choose the layout options as per our wish here i have uh, chose the one column section in the same way we can also choose the section background shading you can see it the list web part background has changed this is how we can format the list web part we can also enable if you want to enable it if we want to expand it we can expand it if you want to collapse it we can collapse it like this we can also choose the expand and collapse icon alignment as left or right we can also choose by default if we want to expand mode we can enable it if we want to collapse mode then we can disable it this is how we can format the list web part section now i will show you how to add the list properties web part open the sharepoint site page in the edit section mode here i am going to choose the two column section layout here you can see i have added the list web part and here you can see i am going to add the list properties web part once the list web part and the list web properties web part has been added choose the list properties web part and click on the edit web part icon select and connect to the source and choose the employees list you can see the web part has is connected to the employee list from the list web part choose the employee list and select the employee name it will be displayed in the list properties web part here you can see from the list web part the selected employee name has been displayed to the list properties web part this is how the list properties web part works click on the republish icon so that the changes will be reflected in the site page here you can see when you select from the site page it displays in the list properties web part so we came to the end of this video so we have learned what is list web part and list properties web part how we can configure the list web part and list properties web part to a modern sharepoint site page and how we can apply dynamic filtering in the list web part and also how we can format the list web part Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.